You have to come in. <laughs> Say, oh, twerk and tacos. Twerk and tacos. Kate is Hi our friends. teacher. She's amazing. Went to Flywheel. 7.15 on a Saturday. It's hard to get up, but eight it's always worth it. We're going to get coffee now. Okay, can we just talk about how people leave workout glasses and actually look cute? This is so disgusting. My hair is like a rat's nest actual rat's nest but starting my day with flywheel is always the best I honestly leave there and like that is the one class that I honestly think is like the hardest workout in the city I know we have like berries and we have soul cycle but I still think flywheel is harder and I'm gonna hold myself to that because I leave there and I'm just like drenched I'm not saying like just because you're drenched means <clears throat> it's a hard workout but you definitely get such a kick-ass workout and I love it every single time. Okay, this guy's waiting for my spot. Well, thanks. Um, but yeah, I'm headed home. We've got a lot of stuff to do today because today is Chelsea's birthday and I'm so excited. I'm hosting a party tonight for her. It's gonna be really fun. Okay, just wanna say this key lime flavor of LaCroix is actually bomb. It tastes like key lime pie in a cup. Okay, so I am making a smoothie this morning for breakfast. It's gonna be a really simple smoothie, even though like flax is not that simple, but we're just gonna do frozen banana. I keep frozen bananas in the fridge whenever, or freezer whenever they start to turn brown and I don't wanna make banana bread. So I'm just gonna do a frozen banana, scoop of peanut butter, scoop of protein powder, a little bit of flax, it helps thicken it up and give some more added nutrients. And then some nut milk, this is just hazelnut milk, but you could do almond, you could do cashew, you could do oat, you could do regular milk. Just blend it all up and that is going to be my little breakfast. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Awesome. What does it taste like? Banana. Maybe some protein powder or something in here. What? What? Is there something? Butter. In? Yep. Good. And it, what? What would you rank it on a scale of one to ten? Um. For a smoothie. It's probably like an eight point five. Oh. Yeah, it's really up there. Um, but it's not like a 10, but it's not <laughs> like a 1. Oh, I see. Guys, oh, how good is our tree look? I know I did the decorating video, but I'm just so in love with it. I think it looks so, like, it looks like super legit. I mean, it's a huge tree. I'm loving it. Our bark car lights. We're having people over so everyone gets to see. Oh, shit. Our house decorated. Loving it. Looks so good. Oh, and the hockey stuff adds a really nice touch. Really, really nice touch. Okay, you guys, I am about to self-tan for the first time ever. And I'll show you exactly like what brand I use, everything, but I have never, ever done a self-tan. And if you can tell, like, okay, I'm blending in with the white wall, so I think it's time for me to try it. I don't have like, any event or anything tonight, but I figured it'd be a good time to try it because we're having some friends over and I can get their opinion and also like they don't care if I look orange. So going to try my first ever self tan kind of nervous um but i've been watching a ton of youtube videos on like the best way to do it so i've like literally been studying because i don't want to like mess this up and i don't want to be like orange and also like have streaks and everything so i've literally like made myself su super super knowledgeable on how to self tan um but yeah i just only thing i can ever remember like using when i was growing up was like oh first of all i did fake tan 
and then I had melanoma. So there's no more of that. Um, and then I like always used that like Jerkins natural glow or whatever and like it was fine But like it wasn't really tan. It was just like gave you like a little bit of hint of color So I did some research on which brands I should get Um, and a lot of people recommended like Sandra pay, but there's also ones that were like a lot cheaper and this is one of them It's that fake bake. It's flawless. You can get it Amazon Target They have it and then also like Ulta and Sephora um, but it's, it's like $25 and I think I'll get a lot of use out of it because the bottle is actually like really big um, so I can't imagine that it won't last me at least like, I don't know, like five or six times. I don't know. It could last me even more. I honestly don't know. But basically they give you this whole entire kit. I was just watching a ton of YouTube videos on it. So that's why I have my phone here. Um, but they give you the gloves, two latex gloves, and then they give you the mitt. So the mitt is exactly what you want to use to like buff it out. Um, but I am just going to like literally give you all of the knowledge that I have and we'll see how it works. Okay. So this is the, the liquid and they also have a foam. Um, but I heard that the liquid is better. I don't know. I mean like I am just taking this with a grain of salt But then they give you two latex gloves So you're gonna want to put on At least like one of the I'll put on one of the gloves to demo But then they also give you a mitt and like you definitely want to use the mitt because that helps you like buff into like the crevices and stuff So you like spray some sprays of the tanning stuff onto your mitt and then you like buff on your hands and you want to make sure like you get in between like the creases because like if you think about it, like the folds in your hands so you like, want to make sure you do it on both sides you even can do your face i'm gonna try my face i mean some people say like they don't do their face they have like special tanning stuff for their face so i'm like naked um but then i'm gonna try the face and we try to do it lightly and then do the whole entire body but before you do anything you want to moisturize because it helps to keep the actual tanning stuff on and then also keeps it so it's not so, like streaky or anything and like actually absorbs into your skin so i'm going to do like a full body moisturizer and then just buff every freaking crevice they say like get your elbows really really good get your knees because i really don't want to be streaky so i'm gonna go do that and then i'm like wearing this really comfy cozy outfit i'm wearing like sweatpants too i don't know if you can see um because the, you're supposed to like technically like do this and then shower shave exfoliate then put on yourself tanner then go to bed you can go to bed apparently it doesn't get like out on your sheets or anything i'll try that next and report back but then um you wake up and shower in the morning but i don't have really didn't really plan that out well so i'm just it says like, you can also keep it on for like four to six hours so going to leave it on all day and just like do stuff around the house because i don't have any other plans and then shower in like four hours take it off and then i'll show you what it looks like all right y'all i'm tan can you even tell like i'm definitely tanner there's spots on my face i kind of wish i didn't do my face right they look spots on my face i kind of wish i didn't do my face but like i'm definitely a lot tanner than i was before i wish i could like show you the before and after but i don't want to like strip down but i'm definitely tanner than i was before so now i'm just gonna let this sit and you know what i just realized i never really that i never really kicked off this vlog see like you can see like the spots but that's right i think that if i like, cover it with bronzer that just may be like my skin uh and maybe it'll come off in the shower so i realized i never really opened up this vlog um welcome welcome back to my channel my name's erin obviously if you if you're new here i run the vlog erin lives whole which has some healthy lifestyle tips and tricks and just a lot of healthy recipes but i wanted to do vlogging because it's like super like i live for instagram stories and i want to do some more long form content so that's why i'm here so if you enjoyed these vlogs please like and subscribe um i'm going to be coming out with vlogs on the reg and i'm very excited you guys are awesome you guys have been so supportive so far i'm even showing you my self tanning journey so I'm gonna shower this all off in like four hours and then I will keep you updated to see how it looks. See, like you can totally, yeah. Maybe I should like buff that out a little bit more, but I like it. I mean, it honestly looks pretty natural so far. So we'll see. I ordered some beauty counter products on Black Friday and I thought I would show you what I got because if you don't know, beauty counter is my favorite brand of non-toxic clean makeup and they have like really good skincare stuff as well. Okay, this won't focus. Let me put it behind my hand. This is the lip conditioner. It's basically, it reminds me of that, um, Laneige, I think I'm saying that right, lip balm. Um, and I also got, I need a new eye makeup remover. So I got this eye makeup remover and I love it because all the ingredients are clean. So obviously this is going directly like into my eyes and it needs to be safe. Um, what else did I get? I got a new foundation. So this is Tint Skin. It is my favorite foundation. It doesn't clump. I actually have one already. This is it, but this one's almost out. So... Um, I use that with a beauty blender and just put it all over my face. So I got another one of those. And then I don't even know what this is. What did I order? Oh, the jellies. Yes. These are the jellies. 
and they are like little mini lip glosses and they smell super good and they are so cute i can link some of these products below if you want me to but i love lip gloss and i love having a little something in my purse at all times or in my pocket so i just store these in there and then i also got two lip colors uh well one's a lipstick what color is it so it's pearl and then this one's rosewood okay so i'm gonna put them on let's see this is just like a almost like a glossy color Wow, big fan. Okay, you can't even say. I love it. Oh my god, it smells so good. But it's just basically like a, almost like gloss, but like it's like a pearly color. I mean, it's called pearl, so that would make sense. But I love it. It's, it gives like a nice shine. I'm currently putting it all over my lips. And then I got this rosewood color. It's like lip gloss. I love their lip glosses. Let's see, I just put it. I just ended up wiping off all of my. Um, the color of the pearl. Oh yes, love, 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 love. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Wow, love it. So this is the rosy rose. What is it? Rosewood. But I love it. it's just like a. A little bit of like reddish. Wow, I love it so much. It's super cute. Perfect color for me. Cause it's like doesn't have too much color, just me like too crazy. Big fan. So I'm making uh, one of many appetizers for this party, but this is my favorite simple appetizer and it's all Trader Joe's. Um, it's three ingredients and actually you're supposed to use the bruschetta that's in the refrigerated section, but my Trader Joe's was out of it. Typically you use that one, but it's just three ingredients and it sounds super weird, but it is like the most popular thing that I have made like I don't know why people love it they go nuts it looks weird and it has weird ingredients but it is so freaking good you need to make it so it's just Mediterranean crumbled feta so it's feta cheese but this one has Mediterranean so it has like little peppers and stuff in it the lentils steam lentils get them in the refrigerated section of Trader Joe's and then the bruschetta typically the refrigerated one if yours doesn't have it just the jarred one will work and you just mix them together let it sit and then you serve it with chips doesn't look good but I swear honestly I shared it with like 50 people on a group that I'm in on Facebook and people or 50 people made it and it was like a 3,000 person group and they were all like holy crap this is the best thing ever so definitely make it so good tan but I actually don't think that I'm gonna wash it off before I have people over um because I feel like like I'm tan but like I don't look bad and I'm having people over and yeah so I'm actually I'll give you a full update on how it looks because I'm gonna wash it off tonight like after everyone leaves um so I'm because I want I'm going to work out class tomorrow I'm really zoomed in I'm going to work out class tomorrow and I don't want it to like drip all over everyone so I will wash it off tonight and then show you the after, but like I'm tan, but like I don't look bad and there's no streaks or anything. Like I really like it. A little orange, but it's fine. My friends love the deal. Whoa, I am super tan. Woo! Yes. Okay. Wait, look at me compared to you. Who's the tan one don't again? Don't look at the top, look at the lens. I'm really tan right now. How is it? That's awesome. Wait, you know what? You like or you don't like? Let me ask you a question. Everyone, only do not ruin it. Do you guys know what 
10. Thank you. Happy birthday, Charles. Happy birthday. Woo. You have to talk to the video. <laughs> I'm new to this vlogging world. Hi. Hello. Hello. I look tan. You're so tan. Happy birthday. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Charles. Yay! Yay. Alright, so I just washed it off. I'm on my way to a workout this morning. I'm also hungover, but I'm gonna talk about that. Um, I think it looks amazing. Like I feel like it looks super natural. And I love it. Like, I would do this again. I got so many compliments last night. You guys, I like don't look, like I look like I have color. I don't look like super tan. Um, it definitely washed off a lot in the shower. But like, I look, I look good. I really like it. And I would 100% do it again for an event. Actually, I might just do it every day because it makes me feel good. <laughs> love it. Oh, I did have one streak. But this is one thing. You see this streak? I recommend that you do it before bed because I was doing it and then I was doing dishes and doing all this stuff and like there was water involved. So highly recommend doing it before you go to sleep. Like they say. But um, it's the next day and I'm ending off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe and like. Um, it was a really fun day in the life. I feel like I've always done Friday so I need to do something like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, some work week. But love you guys so much. You're the best.